Ryan Bell is now online. What is good, you guys and girls? And I'm going to show you how to convert a string to a float. Okay, maybe I've been gone for like a hot minute, but I'm back now. I've been working on some Python programming, which is pretty cool. But I'm not sure if you guys want to see videos like that. Let me know. Alrighty, now we can move on to string and float. String and float is really easy, so I thought I would make a converter from centimeters to meters. And here I was taking an input, which is like a string, and now we'll convert it to a float, which would then be used for converting centimeters to meters. Awesome. Alright, as you can see, I'm just setting up my basic tags. Perfect, now we can move on to our next step. Next step is to create an input box, which is just gonna take our centimeter value. Now you gotta slap on an ID, which is pretty cool. And beside this, you can slap on centimeters, just for the lols. And then, underneath this, we wanna create a paragraph tag, which is gonna display our answer. So with that, then we can move on to our script. In our script, we're gonna declare two variables which are gonna reference our input box and our paragraph tag. And that should make sure everything remains tidy. Alright guys and girls, you know how we usually have a button to call our functions? Well, we're not going to use that this time, we're going to try set interval. This is useful because you can call it for every so often which is really cool. So that way you don't have to be clicking the button to reset or to check, it will just check automatically. So let's go ahead. As you can see, it's going to be checking every one millisecond. I believe it was millisecond. Is it millisecond? Is it? If it's not, don't flame me in the group chat. Oh wait, no group chat. <laughs> Alright, so what I've done, I've created a variable called a conversion, and this is equal to parse float, or you can use parse int, and this is going to be our input dot value. So we're pretty much converting our string to a float or integer if you use parse int. That's how I do it guys. <laughs> it's really that easy. And then we're gonna divide it by 100 because 100 centimeters is one meter. And to close it all off, we're gonna use a paragraph debug to display our answer. By the way, the if statement is pretty much checking if you type into the input box, meaning if there's more than one character, then it's gonna perform and display the answer. But if there's not, then it's not gonna display it. It's just gonna display blank. Awesome. Alrighty, now we can go ahead and save it, and when we open it up, we should see it working immediately. This is really cool, because now you have an excuse to do math homework. <laughs> Alright guys, that's how to do it. Thank you guys so much for 47 subscribers. I'm thinking of doing something big at 50, maybe deleting my YouTube channel, but that's the topic for another day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, Rainbow out!